I just looked at my window there and I was like, oh, I had like a scooter, like a mobility scooter. And he was just like, like having a fag. <laughs> and then he just like bobbed across the road as if he was a car. That was a whole wild. Hello, I'm getting coffee afterwards. Wasn't allowed to film quite a lot of it, so I need to instead talk you through it. I remember I walked into the front and it was just like this enclosed room. And we were in there for a couple of minutes because there was lots to look at and read on the walls and stuff. But I remember thinking, is this it? Because <laughs> I couldn't see a door out, which is very funny because the, the, that's the whole trick. Oscar Landonis! <laughs> And so anyway, they bring you from room to room and you follow your storyteller. It reminded me a lot of the Whiskey Museum. Now, I've never done a video about the Whiskey Museum because I wasn't allowed to film in there. But I've done the Whiskey Museum tour and it's very similar in that they bring you from room to room and then they tell you stories from Irish like folklore or history or legend. The tour guys always get super into it. <laughs> they're basically actors, like they're fully telling the stories as if they're there. The thing about the Leprechaun Museum that everybody loves is that they have a room that's massive and so you're the leprechaun size. We were climbing all over these massive chairs and getting pictures. We left the massive room, the giant's room I believe they called it, through the fireplace which is apparently how leprechauns leave rooms, which I didn't know. We saw the pot of gold and then we went on later and we saw gold in the well and it was only 14 euros like it was definitely worth a look. I would say probably if you have a, a child that's young enough that can't like pay attention to a story, maybe it's not for them. I really liked the big book at the end. I actually nearly liked it better than the leprechaun room because it was outside and it was really bright. So it was really easy to get a picture by myself. I think I learned quite a bit about leprechauns there. I wanted to write a book about changelings for years. Changelings, by the way, are when fair, Irish fairies would swap their baby for yours. But I actually learned a bit about changelings in, in there. I learned why they do it. So I think I learned a lot about that particular aspect of folklore in there. I thought your man was very good. The storyteller was very into it. He was really like, telling the story. It was very good. And then of course at the end they have the gift shop where you can buy leprechaun gold and you can buy old man hats, as I call them. I don't know what they're actually called. Paddy caps? They actually have another offering in there. So it's like 18 plus folklore tales from Ireland. So like this video and let me know if you want me to do that. I just got missed by a bit of pigeon shit. Oh my god, my life flashed from my eyes. If this video gets a thousand likes, is that too wild? A thousand likes? I'll do the after dark version and we'll get the, we'll get the scoop on all the filth from <laughs> Irish folklore. Now I'm terrified I'm going to get shit on because it literally just missed me. So yeah, the National Leprechaun Museum, 14 euro. It's right beside a car park and it's also right beside a cafe. I've wanted to go to this cafe for ages. This is the tram cafe and it's super cute, isn't it? It's like a literal tram carriage done up into a cafe. You can sit inside or you can sit outside. But obviously, don't waste the nice mile today that it is and sit inside. Sometimes the act of filming something sort of takes you out of the experience I'm finding. A lot of these Irish tours I notice are storytelling based. It's funny how woven into our culture storytelling is. When I checked out the Irish Immigration Museum, I was struck by that as well. They had a whole segment dedicated to storytelling and how important it is in Irish culture. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Slán, slán.